Thank you. You're welcome. Take care of my library. Let me just sit down. I'm going to roll this, okay? I want to sit. It's going to show on the thing. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna, like, Tell me when you're ready, okay? Stand up a little more straight because you're not in the frame that much. Totally good. Okay, when, whenever you're ready, let me know, okay? Hello. Take your time. Um, okay, I guess. Okay, go ahead. Um, hi, uh, my name is John Lantis, and I am a first gen. Um, I came from the Philippines. I was born there in 1995. And... I guess I'll talk about a little bit about my story. Um, my mom moved here when I was six months old you know, to work for my family. Um, I came here when I was around 11 or 12. Actually, I was 11 in May 21st, 2007. And it, it was a huge change in my life, um, you know, living in the Philippines with my dad. Um, and then coming here, not knowing really what to expect. New people, new environment. I mean, I went to a private school where I had a little bit of practice with the English language and whatnot, but it was still hard to um, integrate myself into society that I'm really foreign to. Um, few years, I came here when I was in sixth grade, so it was a little bit weird. Um, I remember um, when they assigned us like reading vlogs about like, oh, in one week you have to read this book. And like for me, it was it was weird because in the Philippines, it's not something that we value about reading books as like a young kid, and it was just a really weird experience for me in the beginning. And like it was, it was I mean, I finished the book and it was really glorifying. Um, just the idea of like reading like with other people and experiencing that. So I guess that I guess gave me a little bit of comfort into how I feel as a person um, going into uh, American society um, and the educational system. Um, it was weird. Um, I guess I had a little bit of intimidation towards the type of person I am, and especially in terms of work ethic. Um, you know, if I'm good enough to be here, all these people are speaking English, like, they're bored with it, like, comfortable with whatever's happening in school. Um, definitely just changing the educational system added to that because it was a little bit different when I was in the Philippines. It was weird, um, and it was a struggle in the beginning to obviously adapt to that. And a few years came, uh, middle school came. It was, I guess, like my personality helped me um, adjust to that. Um, I guess I, I can say I'm really sociable and creating relationships with people is something I value. So that's something that, you know, as I get through the first three years or so of being in here, it was, it was, it became easier as I go. Um, high school came and I was introduced into a scholarship program in my high school for underdeveloped, underdeveloped um, underrepresented um, students in the Chicago area. And they basically helped us with academic enrichment, um, cultural exposures and things like that, um, and college preparatory um, things. And uh, it definitely helped me um, in my social life, most definitely um, in realizing that I have the potential as a student to get into greater things. Like for example, um, I was supposed to just take like normal regular classes into um, getting going into high school, but my program uh, introduced me into like honors classes. And in the beginning, I was that person that says, oh, um, this is something that I don't know about. Like, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it. But you know, I started to realize my potential with, with the help of the program that I can be something more than just this kid who tra traveled to another country and see myself as this constant person that's not gonna, you know, progress academically. So that definitely helped. Um, and then within the program, I was able to go to Vanderbilt University, some uh, summer of sophomore year, so a medicine program for three weeks. And then summer of junior year, I was able to go to a study abroad uh, program in Costa Rica, hosted by Brown. And I think going in through, through those programs, I, I realized that, um, anything's possible. I mean, that, as cliche as it sounds, like, I think what's really important for me, I guess also as a first gen, is the idea that no matter where you came from or how much you bring into the table initially in the beginning, it's how you take in um, the opportunities that are given to you is what really matters. Um, 
I would never think that I would be able to go to Costa Rica and live with a host family for a week or study with um, you know, study with physicians, be in surgery, um, surgery rooms, working with um, heart surgeons and like neurologists and it's a really rewarding experience when you think about it um, and I'm really thankful that I'm this, I became this person who welcomes with open arms that idea of like you know, being successful and working your way up for yourself um, not for others and um, now that who would think that I would be uh, initially I was thinking my mom decided that I should go to the um, Philippines for college but like here I am now like I initially my mom's concern was money and you know making myself um, you know go through high school being successful at all those things um, grades um, I did a few sports in high school um, fine arts department I was involved in I, I really made myself um, really, I don't know, up there when it comes to, you know, getting into college, and I really worked hard for that, and how that, I mean, college, it's, 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 I don't know, it's like something that I'm really thankful for that, you know, I'm able to go to a private, private liberal arts college, only paying for like $2,000, and something that, um, during my college uh, visits during spring, I was, there was this performer person that was um, doing songs, and I was just jamming with him, and then he invited me to the stage, and I sang with him for a few songs, and he was just saying how, you know, one day you're going to have a crashing course with success. And that's something I always put in any of my applications. Just that's something that always stuck to me since um, until from that day on. And that's something that I will continue carrying forward because I think that's really important for you to keep moving forward no matter what obstacles um, get through you. Um, and I think that's something that, you know, for everyone to take that, um, just grab all opportunities given to you and everything will follow.